for any of you that aren't already um, following the Make-A-Wish Foundation, there are links in the description of this video. You can donate, you can subscribe to their channel, just please show them any love and support that you can because they're showing a lot of love and support for a lot of wonderful, wonderful humans. They are an absolute amazing organization. They do so many wonderful things. I love them. Luke's diagnosis came as a complete shock. They came in and told us, your son has cancer. Uh, That's the worst. Basically, it was as blunt as that. Make-A-Wish contacted us and sent out um, a lady to That's interview so us. That's so sweet. So oh, the signs. You know, to kind of make that connection. Uh, Look at me tear up. And also, you know, decide what would be the best wish for Luke. He wanted to go to Disneyland. As every kid does. Everybody World, loves Disney World. Disneyland. Not Disney World, because Disney World they don't have Cars Land. That's a good point, Luke. Disney World does not have Cars Land. Well, he gave him a high five on their head, right? They blew up. He is adorable. Oh, this is so beautiful. We're the 100,000th wish for, for Disney. You are the 100,000th. Wow. <laughs> Gonna 100,000. More special moment. Uh, for us and our family to be involved in. We did the first ride. That looks cool. What he was looking most forward to. Yeah, it's to so ride fun. That ride. We do the race. He's screaming, Leia's screaming, they're both <laughs> screaming. It's awesome. And we won. Oh. And he just put his hands up in the air, his hat, as loud as he could. We won. We won. I'm going to cry. <laughs> That's when I got emotional because it was what he came here for. This is amazing. That race, and this is just gonna help propel us to finish this race and to beat this cancer. Oh, he's so happy! Oh, that is so incredibly sweet. It warms your heart and it, and it makes you so happy that there is an organization like Make-A-Wish that does this for people. It's just incredible. They said Landry had an uh, AVM, which is an anterior venous malformation. Lan had brain surgery when he was nine months old. It was a pretty trying time. Then we got a call and uh, they said Landry was granted a wish and we were like wow. ecstatic. Make-A-Wish is building me a tree house. And I want my whole family to fit in there. Oh my gosh, that is too cute. That's amazing. That is my dream. That is a tree house. Who is your interior designer? Please let me know. It is upon this day decreed in this proclamation by Make-A-Wish that Landry oh. received this wish for a tree house. I think he got his wish. Every time Do we, we got a zip line in this tree house? You know, that's Landry's tree that's house. That's above and beyond Make-A-Wish. That's pretty good. Thank you, Make-A-Wish, for my tree house. They're like not sad at all. <laughs> what a sweet wish. A tree house for you and your family. Oh, as a kid, I would have freaked out. Yeah, all that. he wanted was a freaking tree house. And they're like, sure, we'll be to build you a tree house. No problem. And they gave him a zip line and everything. With the camo shades. He was a king. Hey, if you guys want to donate to Make a Wish, there are links below, different ways you can help out. So do that and make a little kid smile. We met a consultant who told us then that Aileen had the myeloid dysplastic syndrome and that she needed a bone marrow transplant. Wow. Five weeks later, the graft versus host disease set in, and it came back stage four. Um, oh my God. And Oof, that's tough. They told us then that she had very little chance of survival. When we sent out what we call our wish book, the book came back, and it was everything to do with Barbie. All of us wanted to make this day perfect for her, and um, from every single detail to the flowers in her office to her business cards that we sent her. Oh my all gosh. Of that oh, they went hard. Mattel went her. hard. I am so happy to invite you to join my team as a Barbie fashion designer. Once you arrive at Los Angeles Airport, a limo will pick you up. <laughs> you will know it's for you. Oh my gosh, it's a pink <laughs> Barbie limo. Oh, pink. I like the pink uh, limo. We wanted her to experience the full Oh, she is, look at her, she's on the phone. She's like, yeah. Material she's right now playing. Oh, baby girl. That's cool, did she design the Barbie? It's great seeing her smile and her wish come through. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh. Use your own designs from your heart. It's amazing how personalized they make each one. So cute. I'm so happy for her. She got to do something she's always wanted to do. Hayden, he wants to record a song in LA. That's great. And we can send him there, absolutely. But he wants to be a pop star. So what what does that mean? caden has been through so much. He's been through open brain surgery, shunts installed, ports installed, chemotherapy. First, um, when they came out, I'm like, 
what the heck is going on? They were just kind of telling him, here's what's gonna happen to you. You know, you're getting ready to go to LA today. You're leaving on a plane today. He what? Was, I think kids on their own started chanting. And all you could hear was, Kaden, Kaden. <gasps> I remember getting tears in my eyes. Then, he looks like I a superstar. Goosebumps. That vision of them lined up, people everywhere screaming, <gasps> and then Kaden getting to walk out there was like, okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, the escorts and everything. He's about to drop the hottest album. And he goes to the airport, gets on the plane. Goes He's like Macy's, a celebrity. People are asking shoot. for him to we sign their the arms. He goes to Macy's, does his photo shoot. We get the updates. He's recording. Feel it. It's good. Oh. He's got a good voice. Yeah. A couple days later, I met um, Mario Lopez. You've been named. Oh the my pop gosh, star she was on Extra. You've been named the pop star for for the day. So how does that make you feel? Good. Here comes the sun, do 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 do. Here comes the sun, and I say it's alright. Yeah. Oh, I love Kaden. People got so excited behind this wish. You know, they they wanted this to help. This is so cute. They can. This one child affected an entire community of people. It's so much bigger than. Oh, that's wish. amazing. It's, I mean, it is the true power of a wish. I love that. So many people came together for that wish. He got to experience a piece of life that, like, mm -hmm. is a seriously, like, a dream. It's incredible what this foundation is doing. Until you actually watch the videos and you see the experiences that they're providing for kids, you don't really know how much work and effort and dedication and personalizing goes into it. And it just, it's really inspiring. And it just makes you feel like, how can I help. Kids' wishes were to meet my sister and I always helped out and the kids were always so happy. It's amazing to work with a company that uh, makes them, you know, have a childhood for at least a day. Oh, we had the opportunity to, make, to do a Make-A-Wish fulfillment. He was this kid and he was like, yeah, it has, it had broken like every bone in his body at that point. For us to have the chance to be able to do that was awesome and it was, it was something that was a, a real highlight. I've been able to make four wishes come true so far and their wish was they wanted to hang out and bake with me for the day. I met a girl with uh, an, an, an inoperable brain tumor at such a young age. It's just not very common and doing anything that you can to make someone else feel better, raise their spirits, is the least that I could do. So how does Make-A-Wish and watching these videos make you feel? Really good. I'm glad that there's something there that is, you know, doing that for people. It's not just, you know, giving kid like one special day at Disneyland. It's actually helping that kid to survive. It makes me happy to know that these kids are, are you know, they're having a great time. You are a centerpiece to their life in a way. It's an overwhelming sense of love and respect that I don't think you can, many other people can top. Make-A-Wish is putting such a positive impact on their lives and just to see that is, is so heartwarming. It makes me sad because obviously kids are going through terribleness, but it makes me so happy that people are donating their time and their efforts into making these kids happy. I feel so bad for the kids that are so young and they've been placed with such hardships and burdens on them. But then I become so overwhelmed with happiness when I see people doing right by them and trying to lift their spirits and make their wishes or dreams come true. We're covering Make-A-Wish in part because April 29th is World Wish Day, which helps to celebrate everyone who helps make these wishes come true. What kind of an impact do you think people who help to grant wishes can have on a child's life? Huge impact. If everybody was like that, like this world would be so different. To them, it's just a little moment, but for the individual, it's their whole life. They have a huge impact. They're the ones that are putting it together and working day and night sometimes just to make it happen. They're getting the wish of their dreams, the wish of a lifetime. And then when that comes true for them, it's almost like, there's just no way to measure that. They're all focusing around the experiences of like for a single kid. By being so concentrated, you can have such a sort of tremendous impact on a single person. Uh, and I think that that's something that's worthwhile. They should feel so good about what they're doing, volunteering their time or resources, energy, because it is truly changing lives. It's massively important to have a moment in time to thank all the people that work so hard for 
to make these sort of outcomes happen because they're doing it on their own accord. They're not doing it for praise or gratitude. They're doing it out of what I imagine is the goodness of their hearts. So it's important for us to appreciate other people's great efforts, especially when we're not regularly doing as much as they're doing. So I think they're great people and I'm glad we have a day to celebrate them. Finally, there are so many ways to get involved with Make-A-Wish and it's not just donations. There's over 40,000 volunteers who help grant wishes around the world each year. What do you want to say to everyone watching right now about why they should get involved? Uh, you should get involved in Make-A-Wish because uh, you never know who you're going to save and how it's going to affect you. It could make your life so much better. Who wouldn't want to be a part of an organization that just brings smiles to people? You got to support it because at the end of the day, we're all human. If there's just a little bit of positivity that we can spread and a little bit of hope that we can spread, It'll go a long way. It's no question Make-A-Wish is a fantastic organization. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, any way you can help, donate, volunteer, do it. What Make-A-Wish does for people around the world is so incredible. And if you can, you know, volunteer or get behind Make-A-Wish and donate anything that you can, it makes a huge difference in people's lives. Whenever you're going through hardships, Having someone in your corner can make all the difference, and that's exactly what Make-A-Wish does. Hey guys, this episode is all about supporting Make-A-Wish. So take part and support in any way that you can. Thanks for watching, everyone, and happy World Wish Day. Hey guys, I'm Ethan. And I'm Alyssa, and we're part of the production team that helped put this episode together. Please show your support for the Make-A-Wish Foundation however you can. Volunteer, donate, spread the word, it all helps. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye!